I'm Sue Jeffries and I'm Head of Assessment here at National Star College. It's recognised that sensory activities are really useful for the development of young people. So we decided that we could really do with having some additional space and some additional activities for people to be able to access maybe in the evenings and weekends. We looked around the site, looked at different places that we could access um, and then we found this place which actually was just a sort of space between buildings really and wasn't really used and then we kind of handed it over to the maintenance team who have just been incredible, they've been amazing. Hi I'm Adam Hockaday, the Head of Building and Site Services. Well, I researched into sensory spaces, um, looked online, went through a few catalogues. We tried to look at some of the objects and tried to create them ourselves in a more cost effective way. So we used um, sleepers and then used offcuts of um, AstroTurf to be able to staple around them for a textured finish on the benches. We reused the water feature and we actually reused the mirror, bubble mirror that we got from Lake House and then went to B&Q and just went down the aisle and picked up as many fiddly things as we could that I thought the students might like. My name is Suzanne Pollard, I'm the Occupational Therapy Manager at National Star and one of my specialist areas of interest is sensory integration. Many of the students at National Star have sensory integration difficulties which are really complex. Neuroscience currently recognises that our seven senses that help us to process information about our bodies and make sense of the world in which we live. If students have difficulties integrating their sensory systems, then we may see them struggling with development in all areas. The sensory spaces that are being developed around National Star are here to enable our students to have some time out to enable them to process and regulate their incoming sensory input. It also gives opportunities to explore and develop their sensory systems in controlled environments. Rainbow Garden is now open. Um, it's open to students and staff to access, but there are still some spaces on our wall, our activity wall. Um, and so there's an opportunity there to fill up those spaces with some more sensory activities for our students. So if anybody's got any ideas about what we might put up there, um, what our students might um, benefit from, then if you can send your suggestions, that would be great. <laughs>